uh, obviously with a with you it's a little bit different for you know some of the workouts that you have to do so like what what are the different things that you have to do compared to for, for like what i what i have to do so a lot of what we'll do like we won't do uh handstand push-ups um we'll do hand release like with our the way our spinal cords are like our the bones are like pushing right on the spinal col like the spinal cord itself mm. so one wrong move and you know we're paralyzed from the neck down Jeez. back down so um we limit that so like our handstand walks we take a piece of tape it's the top of the tape to the top of the shoulder and so hands go from one side to the other and then back like and that counts as the one rep um obviously feet go up on the wall but that's like the movement we make and um from there what else do we do let's see obviously distances are shorter yeah so like our uh like our rowing is like uh, i when i train i'm cutting it down by a quarter distance so if it's an 800 meter i'm doing 600. yep um same thing with running and all of that as well i don't do the full obviously thousand meter run if everybody else is doing it i'm doing the 800. yeah or 750 i guess would be technically a quarter of a like a quarter to that mm -hmm. so so for you if you did murph you do like three quarters of a mile or something like that uh murph i actually did the whole thing oh, okay yeah this year i did the whole thing last year i cut it down because it was like right before our semifinals or not this past year i did the full thing but the year before i did it by like like i did an 800 meter run instead of a full mile but mm -hmm. this year I did the full thing. I was like, I'm, I'm going to do it. Who cares? Like something happens that happens. And I actually finished pretty quickly, um, with the vest and everything. So I wasn't what, too upset about it. What was your time? Oh, I wrote it down. I have to go find, I have to find it. I don't remember what it was. What, was it like under 50 minutes? Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was under 45. Even. Holy shit. Uh, I mean, my pull-ups aren't as far. Like, well, true. I mean, that was where, like, I was able to fly through that. I didn't do the, um, I did it kind of stand, like, uh, I did a chipper style. So I did, like, 5, 10, 15 mm -hmm. of everything. So I was like, I'm not going to not, uh, you know, not do it the way. Like, I'm not going to give myself rhabdo trying to... <laughs> Do well, this one workout. <laughs> well, I'm the idiot that goes straight through. So straight through. Oh, yeah. It, and I'm and I'm six six, so it doesn't really help my like, pull-ups oh, and all that yeah. stuff. So. Wow. <laughs> Man, it's just that's rough. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I did Murph in my gym all by myself and there was no music at all because I couldn't oh. get I couldn't get to the the music at all. Yeah, it was I try to oh. get under an hour. Yeah. And so I, I was, I think it was, I think it was pretty close. I think it was like one Oh three or something like that, but like okay. it was, and then other times I've done Murph, I, I have rings. So I would do, I would do Murph like in my basement. So I have like a whole gym, in my basement, if I didn't go to the, uh, to the actual gym, yeah. but we have like wooden rings. So I would do the pull-ups on the wooden rings. Gotcha. And that was even worse. Cause you couldn't get that. You couldn't do like butterfly pull-ups because you couldn't get momentum. Yeah, you so get you're doing down. strict the whole time. Oh geez, yeah, no, no bueno. It's tough. <laughs> it is tough. <laughs> and plus, being being in Georgia with the heat and humidity, it doesn't oh, really help yeah, at all. Especially so. at that time of year, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's what like ninety there at that point. Yeah, and it, especially like so when I was working out in my basement, it was kind of cooler, but not really. But I would I literally have the windows open, the door open, and it was still like I'd still sweat, and like literally the my sweat would just dry off on the floor. Within yeah. like a couple seconds. Jeez. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so luckily, around this time, like we get like that heavy humidity here. Like we're right in that Ohio River Valley. So mm -hmm. it just all that air just sits here. But um, May, like around Memorial Day time, it's like not too bad. Like it's kind of that in between. Like we're going to start getting warm, but like, yeah, you know, if you do it early enough, like you don't deal with the heat as much. Yep. So yeah. I, I try to go about that like 
nine o'clock time because I don't want to get there too early, but I'm also like, I don't want to get there too late because mm-hmm. then yeah. it's just that sun and then for the mile run, it's just brutal. I agree. I agree. <laughs> so, um, when did you realize you're starting? You were actually like really good at CrossFit. Um, I guess that first open, because like I walked in, like I actually had to teach myself how to do a handstand walk, like right before I went over there, because I saw the workout and I was like, "What the hell is this thing?" <laughs> <laughs> so. I found the standard and then like I looked it up online and I'm like, what am I getting myself into here? (laughs) So, uh, but it was kind of then like, they were all like, whoa, dude, like you're actually pretty good at this whole thing. So, (laughs) but so it was, uh, and then obviously like I ended up winning it, the semifinals and there were still things that had, like I, I didn't hit double unders really until this year like about two months, three months ago, it was like not far before real wide that I fi- like finally figured it out. And um, I was doing like that double kind of double hop thing. Yeah. I do like one, like two to one. So I was like yeah. doing more work. And then all of a sudden, like now that I've got them, I actually had a case of the yips like a week and a half ago. And for whatever reason, I couldn't figure out my double unders for a while. I was like, <laughs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> like, I don't know what is happening, but I don't know why I can't figure it out. But I, I got them back, which is good. Like, That's good. Timing. So do, um, are you are you doing the crossovers now, too? No, um, I don't even. I, I'm going to give it a while before I even attempt that. Um, mainly because I just figured out double unders. So I want yeah. to kind of get better at those and get, you know. But, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if Kevin Ogar decided to put one in for us <laughs> come uh, semifinals or even the finals. So it's yeah, you need to start working on. <laughs> you need to get a beaded rope. That that yeah. that beaded rope is so key. So I would definitely look into that probably by next purchase then. Yeah, and, and well, the, it's I, I think I got mine on Amazon for like five bucks. Oh, okay, that's nice then. That's not yeah. bad. Yeah, and it was like, I'm, I'm, tr- I'm trying it out, and I'm like, okay, like I, I, it was a ten foot rope that I have, something like that, and so I'm like, I wrapped it, I wrapped it once around my hand, and I'm like, okay. okay, this is this, this is okay, but it's not really working. I just like let it, let it all go. It's like the full 10, 10 feet, and it's like so much easier. So like the more right, slack so you have, the better. the better. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not, like I'm not it. saying you, I'm not saying you get ten feet, but I'm just uh, saying like you get all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't be doing that one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but you said you 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 won semifinals, and then uh, did you make it actual to the games, or like how does the games work um, for you for you guys? So we actually ended after the semifinals in 2022. That was like our finals. Mm-hmm. Um, and then last year we just ended after the open. So the open was our finals, which like wasn't horrible because it allowed me to kind of venture into other competitions because i'm like i'm not like more fun like just getting out and about but um it's also kind of you know we want that exposure and in order to get that exposure you need to go a little bit further but um this year everybody we have our own adaptive games uh yep. crossfit adapt adaptive crossfit games uh, like put on by wheelwad and um We'll be doing the fi- uh, the open, obviously, then the semifinals, and and um, those will be all. Those both will be virtual, and then our finals will be September uh, 20, 20th through the twenty fourth, I think. I, don't quote me on the date, I, but it'll be in San San Antonio. Okay. Okay. So I'm I think I I think those are the dates where Waterpalooza in California is. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, because I forgot that that one was the same. Like it was, maybe it was. I, I just know it's sometime in the in September. I know that all for right. sure. <laughs> all good, all good. And so, um, when you did like the when you the first year you did the open and you did like the you know semifinals and stuff like that, were you watching like other people in the group and and how many people were in the group for the short stature division? Let's see. 
first year, I think we had eight, six, six or eight, um, at least for the open. And then the semifinals, like it was a matter of them signing up or not, um, which I don't think as many did. But um, I know for this year, we had like 12 in okay. the open. So and then wheel wad was even more. Like I know that because we uh we ended up let's see what was it um we ended up with five at the finals for wheel wide and uh i think there were eight that competed all together so i mean it's still growing it's getting yeah. bigger um you know we still got some work to do but you know again the more exposure we can get the better yeah, definitely. So when when you won the CrossFit Games in the short stature division, like what was going through your minds about that? You're like, holy shit, I actually won I actually won yeah, it. It was I mean, I'm a competitor, so like I've always competed at something in my life, whether it be sport like baseball, like shooting hoops in the backyard with my brother and like mm. neighbor kids, neighborhood friends, or just like whatever. So um I've done fitness competitions before. Like the one was kettlebell. Like I did kettlebell sport for a couple of years. Oh, cool. I went to the Arnold, um, the Arnold classic or, and here in, uh, Columbus, it's held in Columbus every year. At least this one is. So, uh, I got to do that. And, um, I was going up against just everybody like in my weight class. So that was fun. That's awesome. Yeah, it was cool to see because, like, there's so many different things available, like, so many different sports. I'm like, I didn't even know this thing existed. Like, it was like a wrestling type thing where they had a board between their feet, and like, whoever pulled the other guy over first, like, won. Yep. I was like, I don't know what that's called, but like, this is cool to see. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely interesting seeing that. And, like, people take it, like, super serious, too. Yeah. I like, mean, it's their, like, CrossFit games, essentially. Like, and that's what they want to do, that's what they do. Yeah, it's awesome. It was fun. It was cool. Like, makes for some big people watching, because you got your bodybuilders, your powerlifters, like you just your random person who comes for the free stuff from the vendors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like cool stuff. Like, it was cool.